So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Akron Zips and the Creighton Blue Jays. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Blue Jays should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. Number one, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Next, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Third, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Both teams looking to get things going here. The center handles the pass. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And the ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. The shot from the baseline. He gets that one to fall. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Looking for a good shot. And up. Perfectly executed. Taylor receives the pass. He takes a three, gets it to fall. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He takes it away. Here they go into the break for two. Great play to take that to the basket. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Picks off the lazy pass. They work it back to the outside. They work the perimeter. Wide open for the shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Oh, receives the ball. There's the trap. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Stop and pop. Way off target. Perfectly executed. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. They look to get it to the inside. Trying to feed inside. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Blue Jays have found a player who cannot oh, seem to they miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Up and inside. Defense giving some room from way outside. That was nice. Walden handles the feed. He gets the shot to fall. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. And the ball goes out of play. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Puts it on the floor and up and under. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Trying to go inside. Double team now, bad angle. From three-point territory, he buries the shot. We got to see that one again. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Great play to take that to the basket. it in. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, he did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the pick for the bucket. And off the mark, scores it. And he's fouled. So they one opportunity here. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He says, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. free throw line gets it gave it up that spin moves not gonna work against this defense that's a no no baby defensive player beats him to the spot let's look at it again Side, looks at the three, goes. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job running him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Tries for two, perfectly executed. That's a seven zip run. Oh. 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Doesn't go. A high screen. He unloads a three. Way off target. Momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen ball. With the jump hook. And he missed. Akron had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Love is feeling good. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. On the dribble, gives it up. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Thinks about the shot. Taylor pounded it. There's a tough shot and one. He wanted that one, baby. He says you got to foul me harder than that. Taylor goes to the line for the first time. He got it. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? We'll take the shot. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. <laughs> up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Strips him clean. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. There's the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gave it up. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Here's a double team. And they get the turnover. Goes up for two. Akron are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The ball goes out of bounds. Front court. And the ball goes out of bounds. The skip pass is picked off. With a 
bucket. In and out. Evan draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. He misses the first shot. He hits it. He's got an open look for the shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. With the block. Gave it up. It's stolen. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. From right at the circle. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? That's worth another look. Picks off the pass. Puts it up, looking for contact. He nails the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Working it around the perimeter. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. From the baseline. There was no doubt about that one. a good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. On the top of the key. He gets the bucket. <laughs> top of the circle. Makes it. On the outside. Fakes the shot. 
There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They work it around the perimeter. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Klingman steps to the line for the first time. First shot is no good. Both shots no good. Grabs it. Then I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Carew. Got the high pick. Leans in. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Stolen away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. The ball goes out of bounds. charge and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me, that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. And now they'll bring it up. Taylor fakes the shot. Job defensively. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Up and inside. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. Akron have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Looking for contact. He shows the sweet touch. As the crowd continues to chant. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. Tries for two. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. From the top of the key. Buried it. Oh, 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. At the half, the Zips are up by 12. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Klingman has played a lackluster half. What do they need to get back in this thing, you think, Dick? It only starts with great defense. If they can't stop the opposing team from scoring, even if they shoot the lights out in the second half, they're still too far behind to even the score. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The center with the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They come the other way. Moving it around the perimeter. Nixon makes a great move to draw the foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Second shot is no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Stolen away. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. And he scores despite the hack. The center gets the ball. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Pump fakes. Stolen ball. He starts the fast break. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. He's got to get rid of it. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. The power forward gets the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He beats him to the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. For two, he drains the shot. Gave it up. The shooting guard takes the feed. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. 
Picks off the lazy pass. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's an eight-nothing run. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team down, bad angle. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He fires away. The shot won't fall. On the outside. He takes the shot. He drains the bucket. On the outside. He uses the shot fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Picks off the pass. Long lead pass for the deuce. The lay -in. Check him out, Brad. to fall. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He strokes it. Creighton are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Basketball. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively. He gambled. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Up and inside. There's a double team waiting there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Count that as a personal foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. He hits his first. Makes the second shot. the ball. Robs him of the ball. Fakes a jumper. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Goes up for two. Rims out. Creighton are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad.
kicks it out. And they come with a double team to stop it. The Blue Jays are behind by seven. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He fires away with a bucket. Got it! Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, bro. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He gets the bucket to fall. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Picked out of the air. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'm trying to three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Executes the baby hook. He misses it. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. There's the trap. Tries to get the D to bite. For two. Perfectly executed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The point guard takes the pass. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Take it away. Oh, Screener took some punishment setting that pick. I think this young man is fired up. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He steps up to the line. First one is good. Gets two at the charity strike. Try to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. All right, thanks, Aaron. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On 
the inside. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Takes the pass in the paint and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Working around the perimeter for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Second chance coming up. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Makes it. Let's take another look. Working it around the perimeter. Great defense. perimeter he puts it up can't get it to go gave it up shots there if he wants it tempo to game really important here you want to establish some good tempo scorches the net the zips are up by seven Steals the pass. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Up and inside. He tries to knock down the three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Tries for two. The land. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He makes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Finger roll. The partner of this one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. For the bucket, he hits the shot. Roll that replay ready, boys. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. There he is. Strips the ball loose. You bet. Dribble gives it up. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Intercepted.
lets it go. He buries the shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Up fake. The ball goes out of play. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as Bellman, fading away, impossible to block. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Penetrates and kicks back. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes it off him. He's money with a shot. Outside. Up fake. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Time to pick up the defense here now. Definitely a foul. The Vic, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. In the paint. Here's a double team. Shot rejected. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Picks off the pass. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, the good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Number 21 gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's going to make an instant impact. First shot is good. Second shot is good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. fouled him. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 54 checks back into the ball game. Yeah, I knew they couldn't leave him out for too long. First one, good. the foul shot. Good timeout right here, though. Some of the end with that timeout. Let's get back out on the floor. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. A 
work it around the perimeter. Stolen ball. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this point of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And the clock stopped with a foul. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Pitts is second. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a break down here, though. Tries for two. We got to roll that one back. Foul, and that stops the clock again. the line misses the front end of the one and one he shoots from the top of the circle they should try for an early foul here shot clock is dead looking for a good shot and they continue to foul to stop the clock I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Hits that one. A bucket here will make this a two possession game. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Let's it fly. That's an ill-advised shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they weren't shooting the ball. There's the turnover situation for the half day. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in a game at the end drops significantly. Sinks it. Let's it fly. He nails the shot. Pushes it up. Gave it up. 
Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But you know, you got to win it. Keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, when this game, Brad, when you look at it, analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Akron is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.